criticized by her father, Thomas Markle, and with her ex-husband, Trevor Ingelson, making a TV comedy about an American divorcee who moves to London and marries a prince, the Duchess of Sussex could be forgiven for worrying about men's motivations. And now Hunter Johnson, who runs the Man Cave, an organization that promotes positive masculinity, has revealed that Meghan shared her concerns with him. Meghan came up to me and said, Hunter, oh, my God. I wish the Man Cave was around when I was young. I know so many men who really needed this, Johnson says. The Duchess is understood to have made the comments during a reception at Buckingham Palace earlier this year. She and Prince Harry met Johnson, whose group encourages emotional intelligence among young men, for a second time when they visited his native Melbourne during their recent tour down under. Strictly Lauren has a ball on her birthday. Her sparkly shoes didn't quite carry her to the Strictly final but Lauren Stedman, beaten in the semi-final dance-off by trained American hoofer Ashley Roberts, had reason to celebrate nevertheless. To mark her 26th birthday yesterday her chums baked her a glitter ball cake, with iced bunting spelling out, Strictly the best Lauren. Lauren's professional partner AJ Pritchard was nowhere to be seen as the Paralympian triathlete, born without her lower right arm marked the occasion with five of her closest girlfriends. How about Bake Off next for Lauren? The Queen is due to catch the train to Norfolk tomorrow and there will be some good news when she finally arrives at Sandringham. The private estate sells Christmas trees to the public and hundreds have already been snapped up. Spruces cost between £20 and £120, and with fewer than 100 of the 400 trees at Feld remaining. Her Majesty can expect to take around £20,000 from this year's crop. That should pay for a few Christmas crackers. Stargazer Cox's Jet Set Sob Story If you see a floppy-haired man with telegenic look sweeping on your flight over the Christmas holidays, it may well be Professor Brian Cox, the BBC Stargazer. Bizarrely, I seem to be more susceptible to crying at films on planes, wails the 50-year-old physicist. It must be the altitude, or the food or alcohol levels. Professor Cox used to play keyboards for the pop group D-Ream, whose song Things Can Only Get Better became New Labor's anthem. That's enough to reduce anyone to tears.